A wonderful good day, and welcome to the first video that is not purely an animation video. First of all, I know the picture quality and sound are not yet optimal for viewing. I'm currently watching the video here now as a bit of a test to see how it goes over with the audience. If your feedback is positive and you want more educational videos, we will certainly follow up on that request promptly. Not a question. What was my idea for the first video set here? The F9033 from Funhole with 2,847 pieces for 160 euros. Take a moment to absorb that. Not fake Lego, very important. Funhole has its own unique designs, which I must say look exceptionally good and visually appealing. It is lit. That's not common in Denmark either. Not for 160 euros, above all. They definitely need to put in a bit more effort up there. The set comes in what I find to be a very sturdy and well-made box, a very nice box. There are few details shown except for the set itself from the outside. There's nothing visible from the side except safety instructions. At the back of the box, we also find plenty of safety instructions, as well as a small scene with illustrations of other sets. If I end up liking this set, I will, of course, take my time to gradually build the others and eventually present them here, if that is something you would like. So much for that for now, I'll carefully open the box, see what's inside, and get back to you soon. Here I am again. Inside, you will find mini bags. The thing is stuffed with bags, but really filled up to the very brim, full. A bag has caught my eye, uh yeah. Self-assembly required figures. You can think what you want. I don't really like it, but it's fine. That's right, I'll finish it. Figures are indeed very well organized. The prints are wonderful. What I find quite amusing is when you look at them from the side. They are very well fed. Apparently, there's still a chip shop somewhere by Funhole where they seem to have been a few times too often. Then we have this bright orange box, which contains three of these small, individually wrapped bags. It contains all the cables, lamps, plugs, and whatever else you might need for it. I tried everything. It works great. We will receive a battery box. 3XAA and the fun begins. USB is not primarily meant for charging. That's exactly what this nice device here is for. There are also three more plugs in there. I'm unsure how it will connect later. I will monitor the construction process. And we have a USB-C port at the bottom of the power button. The USB-C port is a clever solution. If I understand correctly, you can connect the set to USB afterward using any random charger from a smartphone, tablet, or any other similar device. And you can just put the thing somewhere in a cabinet, in a display case, or wherever you prefer, and turn it on in the evening as decorative lighting with a remote-controlled socket in between. You can turn it on and off as needed, and it will make you happy. It would be wonderful if other manufacturers would think like this. I'm starting to dream already. Electronics cables are very important, and they are very, very, very thin. Focus, 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 focus. They are incredibly thin. Very, very thin. Very thin. Let it be one millimeter. If you plug those in, lock them, and pull out a cable, it's a really bad idea. You can throw them away immediately. Buy it again. Van Hoen anticipated this need and offers a metal tweezer. He wouldn't get anything, not even plastic, from others. It's great. That will get it out wonderfully. You possess USB cables. Charger. It's not included. Always good. Everyone has multiple of those lying around at home. Instruction. Two pieces. 733 construction steps. 42,847 parts. 
likely the same today. I'm accustomed to the styles of the 80s and 90s. It progressed much faster there. It probably developed over time to become so detailed. Yes, that's how it is. I won't be surprised. I am starting to build. See you in a bit.
Here I am again. I have prepared something. Building it took me six hours. The interior is very intricate, but that's not a problem at all because it is lavishly and thoughtfully equipped with many amenities. There are a few construction techniques or building methods that I wasn't familiar with before. However, they also have a few peculiarities when it comes to stones. Straight to the point. What initially bothers me a little about this particular part, you can see clearly right here on the back. Wait a moment. You weigh a bit. These cables. Can you see? They need to be relocated. I just wonder why they didn't place it inside the box. There are just a couple more spots, but they can be easily changed. But as I said, we'll get to that later when we look at the floors in detail. Excellent color quality with no deviation. Red is red, tan is tan, gray is gray, white is white. Everything is uniform, absolutely no problem. Other manufacturers often encounter their own specific issues with that process. Let's put it this way. I would say let's take a closer look at this intriguing thing in the dark. I'll quickly turn it into a dark room, and then we'll take a look at the highlight. And God said, let there be light. And immediately there was radiant light. What more is there left to say now? A total of 20 LEDs make this thing light up so intensely bright. It probably doesn't come across as well on camera, especially the mosaic window, which looks so sharp and vibrant in person. So, that will definitely find a special place in the display case for some people. There's really nothing more to say about it. It's simply stunning. Speechless. Simply speechless. Turning the light on. So, let's get started. The roof. It is a roof. This corner is very interestingly built, with these little arms that stabilize everything a bit more securely. I haven't seen it constructed like this before. I think it's a nice, innovative solution. But why is something missing back here? I double-checked, and I didn't overlook anything in the instructions. No idea why. The chandelier. Well, they really went overboard with the wiring, meticulously trying to thread every single wire through that tiny, almost impossibly small piece. I tell you, that can be nerve-wracking. When you get to that part, you need to be a bit extra careful during the construction process when laying the cables neatly through that specific section. You will receive an item similar to this, a brick with a built-in integrated cable channel for easy wiring. It's impossible to lay the cables differently. The problem arises when the cable runs over here or around the corner, and it sticks out a bit, making it difficult because then you're supposed to place the next brick on top without disrupting the alignment. Make sure the cable is properly placed in the designated cable channel because if you press it down incorrectly, which is already a bit stiff, you might accidentally pinch the cable, and then you're in trouble and may face potential damage. You can forget about lighting for the floor. Next upper floor. Come on, come on, be nice. So much for clamping force. It's really outstanding in certain key parts of the performance. This window, which is completely illuminated, showcases a mosaic that looks incredibly sharp when it's dark inside the room. It's also well equipped, by the way. There are no stickers. Everything you see consists of high quality prints. However, there is a cable visible here again. Couldn't it have been placed inside? Inside, everything else is already concealed. 
One could have somehow solved this issue. Someone needs to come up with an idea to see if something can be done to improve this. Next level. So, the parts really sit very, very stably on it. Yes. Same show, no stickers, all print. Very detailed decor. Focus. I'm not entirely sure if the camera is accurately capturing this, but this disc has acquired a few noticeable scratches directly out of the back. While it's nothing overly dramatic, the clarity of TransClear should consistently meet its standard of being completely transparent. The ground floor. Here, by the way, is where the battery box is attached. I'll take it off, I'll run the thing with USB, which, by the way, is recessed back here. If you want to unplug the USB again, be careful. It comes out very easily, and if you're unlucky, you might accidentally tear the cables apart. Then you can either throw away the defective item or order spare parts if they have the necessary spare parts in stock. Handle with care. Here again, the details are very clear, no scratches this time. The door is meant for opening, but the hinges are a tad bit stiff and require some effort. Outdoor lights too. The cables here, they probably couldn't have been laid out in any other way due to the constraints of the space. Otherwise, they would have had to put some kind of live wire there or something, I don't know. Is that okay with you? And inside, the thing is really crammed like really packed from all sides with various items. From all sides, there's something interesting to discover everywhere. Simply, simply good. Nothing can be done. As I mentioned earlier, apart from the current scratch disc, there's also another scratch disc arriving soon. I genuinely have absolutely nothing negative to say about it at all. A small painting is being transported on a little cart. The large window really, really suffered quite badly. Very hard. Can we control that? Probably not. It got some really nasty scratches. Not nice. They probably should have packed the TransClear parts in a bag to ensure they are better protected. That's how it happens. We also built a small, high-quality camera very nicely. The complete set is now available for purchase at Funhole for 190 euros. I'll display a discount code here and give you 20% off. The Funhole link is in my video description feel free to buy. I definitely recommend buying this. As I said, purely in terms of quality, no color deviations, super detailed work. Prints, zero sticker, illuminated. There are 20 LEDs inside. That really has potential. You saw it. When it's dark, and it's standing somewhere in the display case, in the cabinet with USB connected, and the wireless socket turning on and off, it's truly wonderful. I must say, there's a YouTuber who adores everything that glitters. You know who I mean, shout out to him, and I have to agree, he's absolutely right. This thing just looks incredibly awesome. I really can't say anything else about it. That's amazing. One more point. Ground floor exterior. 
The cables enter here from outside. I didn't assemble it incorrectly. It's exactly how the instructions describe. I'll show you the guide. Where is it? There it is. The construction manual specifies it exactly that way. Simply rotate it to hide the cables. It's in another construction phase. Here you can see it. Is it exactly the same? In my opinion, that was implemented incorrectly. I just installed it the other way around, so no cables are visible anymore. I will also reverse the two components to ensure better performance and aesthetics. And then the thing just looks awesome. I believe it goes right here next to the blue stones, and then it just glows on its own brightly. All that's left for me to say is thank you for watching. Subscribe and like if you can. Comment on whether we should do something like this again. Love gladly seen. Otherwise, I wish you all a nice day. Farewell. You really seem to enjoy being on video, almost like an attention-seeking cat. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I'd love it if you visited sometime. Would hop over to your little bed. Thank you. Are you serious? This is a camera. Yes, yes. Are you doing nothing?